You're done with the development part and now it's time for you to check if everything's working. You open the app, you click the first button and there's an error. What's happening? Join me in this episode of Decoded Quick Hits while I try to unravel all the mysteries of troubleshooting. In previous Decoded Quick Hits episodes, we showed you how to implement a lot of stuff. But what happens when things don't go as planned? So when that error message appears, what tools can help you and what kind of information should you be looking for? Without systems, you have the development console called Service Center, and this is the central place where you can handle all things in your environment, such as applicational logs, uh, dependencies between applications, and more uh, operational stuff with your servers. So that's what we are going to talk about in the context of an application that is throwing some errors. Okay, so jumping right into the application, this is the product catalog application where I have the modules, the core services and the end user. And what I just developed, stopped implementing is the save and sync functionality, which means that I save a product and it will save to the database, to the OutSystems database and sync to an external service. Um, so if we look pretty quickly to what I'm saying, what I'm doing here is the form is checked if it's valid or not, I use uh, an action from the core service module and I give um, a feedback message redirected to another page. So if we look into the product save sync action, what this does is pretty simple. Saves to the database if anything doesn't go well. It just throws an exception if everything goes okay. I sync it to the other um, external service and return the product ID that was created or updated. So that should be pretty simple to function. Let's see how that goes. So let me open the end user module in the browser. So this is the listing of products in the back office part of the application. And I want to create a new product to test my save and sync action. So pretty quickly fill in these details. Okay, so that's filled. I'm not going to upload an, an image since it's not mandatory. And let's see what happens. All right, so yeah, the error. Okay, so just by looking at it, it has a lot of information. It, it's cryptic, but I think it has something to do with the database. But the best thing to do is to actually go to Service Center, the Out Systems Development Console, and check what information I can get from this error. So your service center, this is the homepage and we have a few sections here. The factory where you can manage all the applications and its dependencies and other stuff. The monitoring where you can find logging of errors and generic logging per se, the administration part and the analytics part. So what I'm going to focus in this episode is the monitoring part. And I have this here, the error that I just experienced. So I can go to the detail. And before I go into this, I want to do something first. So in the factory section, if I search for product catalog and open the detail of this, I just want to check if my dependencies are okay. So open one module, check the dependencies part, and it seems that everything is okay. So no errors in dependencies. Let me check the product catalog CS where the database part is and check if everything's okay. Yeah, so I don't think the problem is with dependencies. The code is refreshed with all the consumers and producers. Um, let's go back to the error. Okay, so this is the thing that I have and it says something like a foreign key constraint in the rating. So product rating rating. I do believe that this will translate into something that I didn't do correctly, right? So let me check product save. This is where I create stuff. Oh, and I have yeah, this. This is probably a typo. So I'll just delete this. Not sure what happened here. Let's publish. Check if it's Okay, and try again. Let's go once again, filled in again, save and sync. Hmm. Oh, right. So this part could be, let me check the dependencies again. So product catalog. Yeah. So I now I have an outdated dependency. I should publish this. Okay. Let me try just publishing the running version. Okay. Let me refresh once again and try it again. Okay. Let's go. 
oh, that's another error. Like this is a different one, right? So I think we managed to check the first error. I believe so. Um, so, okay, let's go once again, monitoring. And this is a very simple one. So 400 bad requests. Since we have an integration with an external service done uh, via REST API, um, this could be it. So let me check. Okay, we are in monitoring errors and here I have rest on. Yeah, so I think this is the problem where it is. So I guess this is the module stripe and the action post products. Um, can I get so let I want to get more information on this. It could be helpful to know what is causing the value request, right? It's a very generic error. So let me go into integrations and here it is. Post products error. What's happening here? Okay, once again, not much of detail, but I do know that if I go into the Stripe, probably here, and then check, yeah, Stripe integrations. And what I'm doing is I'll put this into full so I can get a better overview of the full um, stack trace between requests, what happened in the request, what information was sent to Stripe and what information I received. So probably this can help me. Let's see if it helps me or not. So let me click apply. Nice. And well, once again, here I am. Let's see how that goes. It's again the same request, but now I should be able to get more information. So monitoring integrations. And here I have another error. Right. So there we go more information that is nice and parameter missing so we are not okay missing required parameter name okay let's see what is happening so if i i gave it a name in the form product sync create product okay oh yeah yeah so yeah that's what's happening product name all right once again publish i'm going to click f5 to publish this version as well which is the same that, that we did in service center earlier on and this is just making sure that i have all um, the references updated to the newest version of the code so publishing that and i now should be able to once again okay yay so i think we did it it was one error so two very dumb errors one because i must have typed something wrongfully and i didn't notice and the other one it was because we didn't uh, were um, using the required parameters for the rest api that we are using now that we've finished the bug fixing of our beautiful user story um, let's recap on what i did with service center to fix those issues so first of all check for the dependencies so i went to the factory search for the application that i'm using and here i can see the dependencies if they are okay per module this is what i'm seeing so per module i'm seeing if all its producers and the status of the publish is okay and then i know that this is one of the producers in the application that i changed and once again all fine so the problem should be dependencies then what i did was i went to the monitoring tab where we have applicational errors being logged general errors uh, which you can use the log audit action um, that comes with the platform to log specific parts of your logic if you want to and this is where you can find them and then we have a whole array of other logging like web traditional web requests or screen requests or even for service sections if you if you need to know what's happening with your service sections the platform does that all by itself and then another thing that we did we is we checked the integrations log because in the logic that we've implemented that's where we had the rest api API implemented and we are using a method from that REST API so that could be some trouble there which it was there's the integrations log the extensions log so if you're using a .NET extension this is where you can see where things are not working as well timers emails processes mobile apps environment health and security so this is all the monitoring that you can do in one central place with service center and finally we have a quick video this was the way to show you how service center can help you when you're developing and testing if everything is okay if an error is reported you should be able to check it in service center within the timestamp that it was reported that's it for this episode of decoded quick hits 
make sure to subscribe and keep updated on anything that is new that we uploaded in the Decoded Quick Hit series. See you in the next one.